All right, last week, the artificial intelligence company. I think people really have fun with it and they see the possibility and they see the ways this can help them, this can inspire them, this can help people create, help people learn, help people do all of these different tasks. Why has AI developed so quickly lately? A large portion of the recent success can be attributed to the Transformers model, a novel approach to AI training. Using this method, the technology can measure the outcome's fluency and pass big language blocks quickly. The AI community is seeing a lot of activity this week, and we have all the information ready for you right now. We'll discuss OpenAI's and Microsoft plans to produce chips in the face of global shortage, the release of Adobe's user-friendly AI photo editor, Project Stardust, the latest smart glasses from Meta and Ray-Ban, and Humane's chic tech debut with the AI pin. We'll also discuss Microsoft Creative's AI boost to Bing Chat, Canva's Magic Studio upgrade, LinkedIn's AI improvements for recruiters, and job seekers in Google AI's powered Pixel 8 phones. According to people familiar with the business plans, OpenAI, the startup behind ChatGPT, is considering producing its own artificial intelligence chips and has even evaluated a possible acquisition target. Recent internal discussions suggest that the corporation has not yet made a decision on whether to proceed. However, according to people familiar with the situation, it has been discussing different solutions to address the scarcity of costly Apple chips, on which OpenAI depends since at least last year. Developing its own AI processor, collaborating more closely with NVIDIA and other chip makers, and expanding its supply base beyond NVIDIA are some of these choices. OpenAI opted not to respond. The company's primary aim, according to CEO Sam Altman, is to acquire additional AI chips. He has openly bemoaned the lack of graphics processing units in the industry, which is controlled by NVIDIA, which holds over 80% of the worldwide market share for the processors that are most suitable for running artificial intelligence applications. Two main issues Altman has highlighted are the lack of cutting-edge processors that power OpenAI's software and the eye-watering price of maintaining the gear required to support the company's operations and outputs. These factors are linked to the endeavor to obtain more chips. Since 2020, OpenAI has used 10,000 NVIDIA graphics processing units GPUs, in a gigantic supercomputer built by Microsoft, one of its biggest backers, to develop its generative artificial intelligence technology. At the Adobe Max event, Adobe is expected to unveil a new AI-powered photo editing tool that greatly simplifies the process of modifying photographs, even for those who have no prior editing experience. A promotional video obtained by TechSpot claims that the new object-aware editing engine, known as Project Stardust, can recognize particular items in standard photos and manipulate and reposition them with ease. It resembles the magic editor that Google unveiled for its upcoming Pixel phones, but it's probably more potent. A brief rundown of the new program demonstrates how elements in a picture, like the examples images yellow suitcase and shadow, are recognized and chosen automatically, as though they had been separated using Photoshop's lasso tool. Next, the video shows how items can be altered as though they were kept on another layer by moving, deleting, or in any other way, and how the empty space behind them is automatically filled in to blend in with the surrounding area. Similar to Photoshop's contextual taskbar, which made its debut earlier this year, Project Stardust has a feature that can recognize the next steps in your creative process and let you make quick modifications. In the demonstration video, when you choose a group of blurry people in the image's backdrop, a Remove Distractors icon appears on the taskbar. Clicking this button causes the crowd to be immediately deleted. Some of the generative AI capabilities included in Adobe's Firefly Powerful Motor Shop tools are also present in the new editing engine. A.E. Philomonon, the product manager for digital imaging at Adobe, is seen highlighting a portion of the image and typing text into a floating taskbar, prompt to replace the highlighter region with artificial intelligence AI-generated flowers. In a different video, the same function is applied to swap out certain articles of apparel on a model. To replace a jacket or pair of shoes, for instance, simply select the items and describe what you want to replace it with. The prevalence of these automated design tools is growing in tandem with generative AI advancements. Similar editing capabilities for automatically deleting or modifying items in photos are offered by Canva and Google Photo, which come pre-installed on Pixel 8 smartphones. However, Philemon states that the elements that have been hinted at thus far are just a fraction of what Project Stardust is capable of. There have been long inconspicuous photo and video recording smart glasses available. Similar to this, the new Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses cover a lot of territory, yet they have a novel feel to them. The smart glasses are the replacement for the Ray-Ban stories from 2021, and they were just unveiled at Meta Connect. Furthermore, Meta is genuinely branding the goods this time. You would assume that it's because it's raised this category by doing something unique or innovative. It's not only that I had some hands-on time with the glasses a few weeks ago. More importantly, technology began to make sense at last in both terms of hardware and how the TikTok period transformed regular individuals into instant celebrities. 
It goes without saying that the 12 megapixel camera also produces better images. The 2592 by 199 pixel original story images were used. It is currently a 3024 by 4032 pixels. When you publish or view most images on social media, they will get squished. Nevertheless, starting with a larger resolution usually results in a higher quality shot. The glitzy setting of a Paris Fashion Week was recently chosen by Humane, a firm formed by Apple executives to introduce its AI pin, an enigmatic and fascinating item. However, the question still stands. Is wearable technology a game changer or merely a gimmick? Supermodel Naomi Campbell may have wowed the crowd by being the first to wear the AI pin in public, but what really draws attention to the device is its possibilities. Known for his work on the iPhone interface, co-founder Imunra Chandra demonstrated a few cool features during a TED Talk in May of last year, including the ability to translate text from English to French instantly and project call details on to his hand. The gadget avoids always-on listening by positioning itself as a wearable AI assistant that prioritizes privacy. The AI pin raises more questions than it answers, even with its fashionable facade and also obtains Paris Premiere. For example, it doesn't need a smartphone to function, but it's not apparent how it makes an internet connection. Furthermore, even if it removes a need to carry a smartphone, it hasn't shown that it can complete jobs any quicker or more effectively. How can communications utilize the latest Bing powered by AI? The new Bing symbol, which features chat and compose experiences tailored for Bing chat, is now visible for users on the most recent Edge versions of the sidebar. Microsoft claims that if consumers have already had access to the latest Bing preview, these experiences will manifest. Web-based design platform Canva is celebrating its 10th birthday by launching Magic Studio, a new set of AI-powered design tools that are meant to make content creation more approachable for everyone, regardless of prior design knowledge. Magic Studio, which offers a plethora of new capabilities for automating labor-intensive processes like exploring designs into various media formats or instantaneously modifying photos of generative AI, is built by Canva as the world's most comprehensive AI design platform. Today, artificial intelligence is utilized by practically everything. Therefore, it only makes sense for recruiters to embrace the technology. AI is now employed by recruiters to assist in screening through applicant profiles and even selecting the best prospects for the position. Furthermore, the AI has performed admirably thus far. In fact, given that businesses are able to employ AI tools effectively, some recruiters are concerned that AI may eventually replace them. Organizations are starting to consider how AI recruitment tools can help them locate qualified applicants, even though this may not happen anytime soon. With the help of the suite's capabilities like Magic Switch, users can quickly convert a current design into a different format, such as an email or social media post, without having to adjust the copy, text, or layout by hand. With the Pixel 8, Google has advanced computational photography by offering AI-infused editing features that allow you to alter a photo or video completely, rather than just erasing certain parts. So you don't have to worry about getting the perfect shot. Google is counting on AI to grab the lead while everyone else is occupied with the megapixel race. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye! Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.